Hey everyone, this is Sultan with the WV Funnels team and today I'm here to give you a walkthrough on our most unique feature for funnel creation, a single visual canvas to plan your funnels and email automation flows. And to do so, we have recently released MailMint, an email automation tool which has a deep integration with WV Funnels so that you can create your funnel steps and email automation flows on the same visual canvas that you get with WP Funnels, all right? And in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick uh, overview and a guide on how you can use this feature actively for creating your funnels, all right? So let's begin. Now, as you can see, I'm on the dashboard of WP Funnels. Now here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a funnel to sell books, all right? So I'm gonna create a sales funnel for books and then initiate email automation uh, for that funnel, all right? So let's look at how you can do that. First, let me create a funnel, all right? So since I'm gonna sell books, first I'm gonna choose a template that's suitable for books. So let's say I'm gonna choose the eBook Pro. So let me click on import. And there you go. So this imported our template, the eBook Pro template. What this is designed for is to help you sell eBooks using sales funnels. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redesign it for books, all right? So as you can see, this has all the steps already. If I click on preview, this page is already designed pretty well. What I have to do is just change the colors and change the images on the page to match my product, right? But for this tutorial, I'm gonna leave that alone. For now, what I'm gonna do is the first thing that you do when you create a funnel is you assign the main offer product of this funnel. So for that, you need to choose this checkout step, go to the settings and then search for the product that you want to offer initially. Now, let's say I'm gonna offer a book uh, that's already on my store, uh, which is pretty popular, right? Uh, so let's say uh, I'm gonna offer the book Think Fast and Slow, which is pretty popular out there, all right? And it's a very good book for businessmen, all right? So let's say this is the product I want to offer in my funnel. And uh, let's say instead of offering the original price, I'm gonna issue a discount, let's say 50% uh, discount. So instead of getting it at $20, they can get at $10 if they buy it from my store, okay? So uh, let's not allow coupons and click on save. And there you go. So now I have assigned the main product of the funnel. So what I'll do is I'm gonna promote this book in the landing page. So in the landing page, I'm gonna demonstrate the advantage they'll get by reading this book and also demonstrate the discount I'm offering so that you know they go ahead and purchase this book. Now, what I want to do is immediately after someone purchases this book, I want to make him an upsell offer with a bundle of business books, all right? So let's go to the settings of upsell. And here, let me assign the product I want to offer as upsell. So let's say I have a couple of bundles. So let's say I want to give the business-minded bundle as the upsell offer. So this is basically a bundle of eight books, uh, eight business books that he can get right away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a flat discount of $60 on this bundle. So instead of getting it at $160, he can get these eight books at just $100, all right? So once I save this, all right, now I've assigned the product for upsell. Uh, and what I have to do is I need to edit this upsell step. So once I edit the upsell page, what I need to do is I need to update the content to match my offer, all right? I need to just, uh, you know, rewrite the discount I'm offering uh, and then display the books and, you know, mention the eight books that I am offering over here, all right? So you need to update the copy of the page uh, according to the offer you make, right? So let's say I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Let's assume I've already edited that, all right? And then I just assign a conditional note where I've set the condition. Uh, let's say if the upsell offer is accepted, then the condition is true. So basically what this means is that if the upsell offer is accepted, it will go through the path of true. And if it's not accepted, it will go through the path of false. So if someone accepts my eight book bundle, then I'm gonna take him to the thank you. I'm not gonna make him any more offers and not annoy him, all right? But if the person rejects my upsell offer, then I want to make uh, another offer of a lower price, which is a bundle of a fewer books, all right? A fewer good business books, all right? So let me just choose another bundle that I have uh, for the downsell offer. So let's say business. Now here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer this instead of the main product he purchased, because this bundle contains the same book that he purchased during checkout. So what I'm gonna offer him is that, hey, you can get all four books, all right, at 50% off. So instead of paying 80 bucks, he can just pay 40 bucks and get four books, all right? And I'm gonna enable this option to replace uh, the previous order, all right? So basically, 
Once I enable that, this means that if someone accepts the downsell offer, then he will not be charged separately for the other book. This will be the only thing he will be paying, all right? Why am I doing this? It's so that the person knows that, okay, I've already bought that book and there are three more similar books that I can buy together in a bundle at just 40 bucks. And that might be a very good offer, right? So let's say I have just created this downsell and now my funnel is pretty much ready, all right? Now, here comes the fun part, okay? Now I want to create email automation for this. So whoever purchases the initial book, I want to add into a particular list uh, so that, you know, afterwards, if they don't end up, you know, purchasing uh, the rest of the books, I can make him email offers. So let's say what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of the actions that I want. So let's say add to list, All right? And initially, the first action that you add, you have to choose the condition in that action. So this is the first action. Let me just edit this and you'll see that I have the condition that assign list if checkout order is accepted. And I'm going to assign the list where I want to edit. So I'm going to edit to book offer one, save changes. All right. So immediately after someone purchases uh, this book, he'll be added to this list. All right. Next, let's say in the upsell, I made a special offer, right? Now, what I want is that after someone uh, goes to the upsell, if he rejects this offer, I then want to make him a special offer later on, let's say a special coupon to buy more books later on. Maybe he didn't like the discount I offered here. So that coupon might be a trigger to get him to buy more of my books, right? So what I'm going to do is just below upsell, let me click on plus and let's say I'm going to choose a delay. I'm not going to make an offer right away, right? I'm going to wait maybe two days or three days before making him more offers because he's just made a purchase from me. So let me select delay and click on edit. As I said, in the first action, you need to define the condition uh, for which this will be triggered. So if the upsell is rejected, it's configured. Uh, I'm going to delay uh, the process for, let's say, three days. OK. And once the delay is set up after that, I'm going to send him an email. All right. So in this email, I'm just going to mention that I have something special for him. I'm going to give him a coupon with which he can buy any books he wants at a huge discount. So let's say I'm just going to edit this and here you can see I have the options to configure the whole email however I want. So let's say uh, special offer on business books just for you. Okay, so I'm just going to use this subject line, save this and then go to edit the email body. So let's say I'm going to create one from scratch and I'm going to use a text. So Hey, uh, I have something great for you that you will love, All right? And then, you know, I can use the products block and here I can display, uh, you know, some products from uh, any category, let's say the books category. So what this will do, this is going to show preview of some of my books uh, that I have in my store, All right? And then below this, I'm just going to add another text area and then I'm going to say uh, use the coupon books 99 to get a 99 dollars discount on purchases above 200 dollars all right so let's say what i want is him to buy 10 different books so that will mount up to 200 plus and then he can use this coupon to get a $99 discount. So this is one tactic. You can also use a different tactic. Maybe just give a smaller coupon. Let's say a 20% off or maybe a 30% off. That's up to you, right? So let's say this is the offer I'm making. I'm going to save this and that's it. So I've just created the email for this. And now I have an email automation set up uh, to add them to a list during checkout. And I have an email automation set up to add them uh, to send them an email all right and i can also initiate a further uh, process that if someone rejects i can add him to a different list or tag if i want to all right at the same time i can also initiate other automations maybe below the downsell or below the landing page whichever you know suits me right so now i've just created a complete funnel i have uh, set up a landing page i have made my offers ready and i have set up email automation i didn't have to go to different tools all right now, one thing you have to do prior to doing this is, you know, you just have to create the list that you want to include your customers to in MailMint before coming here. All right. So that's the only thing you need to do uh, outside of this canvas. Everything else over here is already set up. 
Now, if you initiate the funnel, all right, this funnel will be live and this will be in action. So let me just try one uh, in front of you. Okay, so let me just open MailMint uh, in a new tab, all right? Uh, this is to show you that the customer is added to the list. So you can see I don't have any contacts in this environment. So let me just start with the landing page. So click on preview and it takes me to this page. I'm going to go to get the book and it's going to take me to the checkout page where I have to fill out this information. All right. So let me just go ahead and fill this out real quick. I'm just using dummy address over here just to go through the checkout process. All right. There you go. So I fill out the information and my payment method is going to be cash on delivery. And once I uh, go to place order, it's going to take me to the next step, right? But before that, I'm going to show you that I've initiated a $10 discount here. So that was basically the discount I initiated in the funnel. Okay. So that's the thing that I have to uh, promote in my landing page. So now let me click on place order and it's going to take me uh, to my upsell page. All right. So before I do anything, let me just check MailMint. And there you go. You can see that my email has been added here and it's been added to the list book offer one. This is exactly what I set up in the canvas. Let me show you. So if I go back to the funnel canvas, if I edit this, you can see I've assigned this to the list book offer one if the checkout order is completed. All right. So that's exactly what happened over there. I've been added to the list of MailMint. Uh, and I've been assigned this tab, uh, this list. Okay. Now, if I go back uh, to my funnel, all right. If I reject this offer, then an email should be sent uh, after a delay, right? But that's something I cannot show you now because you know the delay will be three days uh, and so on. But if I ac accept this offer, it's going to take me to thank you page. Let me just go through the funnel process and click on no thank you, and this is going to take me to the downsell page. Okay. So this is where I offered my other books. And if I add this to the order, it's going to process the order, replace my initial order. And you can see that in the order details, okay, I initially had just purchased this one, but then it was canceled and I got the bundle, which includes that book. And I got the offer right here at $40. All right. And this is on cash on delivery. So that's it. That's a complete funnel. And while this is added, uh, when I rejected the upsell, this uh, automation flow is already initiated. Uh, after three days, I'm going to get an email uh, that's going to tell me, hey, use this special coupon and uh, maybe I can buy more books. OK, so that's how easy it is to create a sales funnel, uh, including email automation flows using W Funnels and MailMint together. All right. So this is going to save you so much time and help you plan out this whole process. You can see it visually without any issues. All right. Because the templates are going to be really helpful because that's going to speed up the process in designing the funnels. OK, so. Uh, if you haven't used this already, go ahead and get WP Funnels Pro and MailMint Pro together. We have a bundle in our site which you can get uh, at really reasonable price. Go ahead and grab that and start creating your funnels. I'm sure you're going to make a fortune by creating a proper funnel that has both funnel pages, great offers, and email automations uh, to follow up with your customers and you know convert them for more sales. All right. So thanks for watching this video. I'm going to see you in one of my future videos. Take care.